Welcome to RenewEnergy.com, your renewable energy and sustainability platform. At RenewEnergy.com, we believe in the power of clean, sustainable energy to transform the way we live and work. That's why we offer a range of solutions for businesses and homeowners looking to switch to renewable energy sources such as solar, wind, and water. Hydrogen, the most abundant element in the universe, has been gaining attention as a potential clean energy carrier that can significantly contribute to the global effort to combat climate change. While hydrogen itself is a clean burning fuel, producing it in an environmentally friendly way is crucial. This has led to the rise of green hydrogen. Definition and production process. Green hydrogen is hydrogen that has been produced through the process of electrolysis, where electricity is used to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. The green label comes from the fact that the electricity used in this process is generated from renewable energy sources, such as wind, solar, or hydropower. The general equation for the electrolysis of water is 2H2OL, greater than 2H2G plus O2G. In this process, water, H2O, is broken down into its component parts, hydrogen gas, H2, and oxygen gas, O2. The hydrogen gas can then be collected and used as a fuel, while the oxygen can be released into the atmosphere without causing environmental harm. Role in decarbonization. The role of green hydrogen in decarbonization is potentially significant. As an energy carrier, hydrogen can store and deliver energy in a form that results in zero greenhouse gas emissions at the point of use. When hydrogen is used as a fuel in a fuel cell, the only byproducts are water and heat. Green hydrogen can be used in various applications where directly using electricity from renewable sources may not be practical or efficient. For instance, it can be used to store surplus renewable energy, provide heat for buildings, fuel vehicles, or serve as a raw material in certain industrial processes, such as the production of ammonia or steel. With these applications, green hydrogen can help decarbonize sectors of the economy that have been challenging to decarbonize with electricity alone, such as heavy industry and long-haul transport. Therefore, green hydrogen plays a critical role in the global transition to a low-carbon economy. Water use in green hydrogen production. The production of green hydrogen, while advantageous in many respects, does necessitate the use of water. It's critical to understand the amount of water required and how the water cycle is affected during the hydrogen production and usage phases. Quantity of water needed for electrolysis. In the electrolysis process, water molecules are split into hydrogen and oxygen. The standard reaction equation for water electrolysis is 2H2OL, greater than 2H2G plus O2G. This means that one mole of water, approximately 18 grams or about 18 milliliters under standard conditions, is required to produce one mole of hydrogen gas. While this amount seems small, it must be noted that for an industrial scale production of green hydrogen, substantial amounts of water would be needed. However, the actual amount depends on the efficiency of the electrolyzer, the energy input, and other factors related to the specific production setup. Water cycle in hydrogen production and use. During electrolysis, water is not being consumed in the traditional sense. Instead, it is being split into hydrogen and oxygen. After hydrogen has been used, for example, in a fuel cell, the only byproduct is water, which is reintroduced into the environment. Thus, one could argue that the hydrogen production and use cycle is part of a broader water cycle. It is also possible to use non-potable or salt water for electrolysis, which would reduce the pressure on freshwater supplies. However, using seawater would introduce additional challenges, like dealing with the corrosive properties of salt and potentially needing to desalinate the water first. The water cycle in hydrogen production and use, therefore, requires careful management and consideration of the local availability and quality of water resources, ensuring that the benefits of green hydrogen production are not offset by negative impacts on local water systems. Impact of green hydrogen production on water scarcity. The demand for water in green hydrogen production is a legitimate concern, especially in regions already facing water scarcity. Understanding this impact requires a careful examination of both the potential exacerbation of water scarcity and the regional variations in water availability. Possible exacerbation of water scarcity. The production of green hydrogen involves the use of water in the electrolysis process. Therefore, in areas with already stressed water resources, large-scale production of green hydrogen could potentially exacerbate water scarcity. However, it's important to remember that the water used in electrolysis isn't used up in a traditional sense, but rather it's being split into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then used as a fuel, and when it combines with oxygen, for example, in a fuel cell, the byproduct is water, which is reintroduced into the environment. 
While green hydrogen production does require water, this cycle means that the net consumption of water might be less than it appears at first glance. Nevertheless, it's crucial to manage this process responsibly, especially in regions where water is scarce. Regional differences in water availability. Water scarcity is not a universal issue, it varies significantly based on geographic location. Some regions have an abundance of water resources, while others face severe scarcity. In regions with plentiful water, green hydrogen production is less likely to pose significant challenges related to water scarcity. However, in arid or drought-prone regions, large-scale green hydrogen production might put further pressure on already limited water resources. This means that regional differences in water availability must play a crucial role in determining where and how green hydrogen production facilities are established. Careful planning and responsible water management strategies will be essential to ensure that the pursuit of green energy solutions doesn't unintentionally contribute to water scarcity issues. Comparison with other energy sources. While green hydrogen production does require water, it's crucial to put this into perspective by comparing it with the water usage of other energy sources. In particular, biofuel production and traditional fossil fuel power plants are two sectors where water use is also a significant factor. Water use in biofuel production. Biofuels are often hailed as a sustainable energy source, but the water footprint of biofuel production can be substantial. This is because biofuels are derived from crops such as corn, sugarcane, and soybeans, which require significant amounts of water for growth. Furthermore, the conversion processes to transform these crops into usable fuels also require water. For instance, producing one gallon of ethanol from corn can require between three to six gallons of water. Also, growing biofuel feedstocks can have substantial environmental impacts, including water pollution from fertilizer and pesticide runoff. When compared to biofuels, the water requirements for green hydrogen production are considerably smaller and potentially less environmentally damaging. Water use in traditional fossil fuel power plants. Traditional fossil fuel power plants, particularly coal and nuclear plants, use significant amounts of water for cooling purposes. For instance, thermoelectric power plants in the United States, which include coal, natural gas, and nuclear plants, account for 45% of total water withdrawals, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. Fossil fuel extraction processes, such as fracking, also use substantial amounts of water. Moreover, this water often returns to the surface contaminated with chemicals and needs to be treated, which is a challenge in and of itself. Compared to these energy sources, green hydrogen production's water usage is minimal. The water used in electrolysis is split into hydrogen and oxygen and then reformed into water when the hydrogen is used, creating a more closed-loop water cycle. In conclusion, while green hydrogen production does require water, the amount used is relatively small when compared to certain other energy sources. And with appropriate planning and management, its impact on water scarcity can be mitigated. Addressing the challenge. The challenge of water use in green hydrogen production can be addressed through several means. Primarily, this involves the proper management of water resources and accounting for regional considerations in the production process. Proper management of water resources. One of the ways to address the challenge of water use in green hydrogen production is through efficient and responsible management of water resources. This includes utilizing non-potable or brackish water for electrolysis, which can reduce the demand for fresh water. It also involves improving the efficiency of electrolyzers to reduce water usage. Recycling the water produced when hydrogen is used in fuel cells can also contribute to a more sustainable water cycle in hydrogen production and use. Water is the only byproduct of hydrogen combustion or use in fuel cells, and capturing and reusing this water can further reduce the net water consumption of the hydrogen production and use cycle. Regional considerations for green hydrogen production. When considering where to locate green hydrogen production facilities, it's crucial to account for regional differences in water availability. In areas with abundant water resources, green hydrogen production can be carried out with minimal impact on water scarcity. However, in water-stressed regions, careful planning and analysis are needed to ensure that green hydrogen production does not exacerbate existing water scarcity issues. In such cases, it might be more suitable to import green hydrogen produced in regions with abundant water resources. By combining careful resource management with thoughtful regional planning, it's possible to mitigate the potential impact of green hydrogen production on water scarcity. This will enable us to harness the potential of green hydrogen as a clean energy source without causing undue harm to our precious water resources. Conclusion Green hydrogen represents an exciting frontier in the quest for sustainable, low-carbon energy sources. 
As the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen offers a tremendous opportunity to meet our energy needs without contributing to climate change. Green hydrogen, produced through the electrolysis of water powered by renewable energy, carries with it the promise of a zero-emission energy future. However, the production of green hydrogen does raise some concerns, particularly regarding its water usage. As with any resource, the use of water must be managed carefully, especially in regions where water is already scarce. It's critical to remember that, while green hydrogen production does require water, the process ultimately forms part of a broader water cycle and doesn't consume water in the traditional sense. Compared to other energy sources, such as biofuels and traditional fossil fuel power plants, green hydrogen's water footprint is relatively small. Moreover, the challenges associated with its water use can be addressed through strategic planning and efficient resource management, including the use of non-potable or salt water and the recycling of water used in the hydrogen life cycle. The development and deployment of green hydrogen as an energy source should take into account regional differences in water availability to ensure that its production does not exacerbate existing water scarcity issues. With careful planning and management, we can maximize the benefits of green hydrogen while minimizing its potential drawbacks, allowing us to make the most of this promising avenue in the transition to a low-carbon future. Thank you for choosing RenewEnergy.com as your go-to source for all things renewable energy and sustainability. With our YouTube channel, we explore the latest developments and innovations in the field, including hydrogen fuel cells and the use of AI and machine learning to optimize energy consumption. If you're ready to take the next step towards a cleaner, more sustainable future, visit us at renewenergy.com and discover the many ways we can help you transition to renewable energy. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay up to date on all the latest news and insights by subscribing today.